A full vertical integration poultry project includes all of the production chain, from seed to final product. The process begins with a new flock of parent stock chicks that grow in pullet farms and are transferred as mature breeders to breeding farms. The laid eggs are set in a hatchery, and day-old broilers are hatched after 21 days. The broilers grow in broiler farms until they reach the expected weight, after which they are processed in a slaughterhouse to a final product and marketed through different marketing channels. The flock is fed by self-grown grain, which is stored, monitored, and prepared in the grain elevator and feed mill. The manure is processed and used as compost. The ofal is processed into a 38% protein product that can be mixed into the feeding mixture or sold separately. An optimal vertical integration project balances between infrastructure costs, operating costs, and biosecurity standards. We will locate our project within a 20-kilometer diameter around a town center and use the existing labor force, roads, train tracks, water, gas, and electrical infrastructure. The pullet farms, breeding farms, and broiler farms will be kept at a distance from each other for biosecurity reasons. The pullet farms will be positioned near the far end of one road, along with the hatchery. The breeding farms will be positioned along a different road, on the same side as the pullets. The broiler farms will be positioned on the other side of town, along the two remaining roads. The hatchery is the most vulnerable site to biohazards and will be positioned around 5 kilometers from the town and at least 1.5 kilometers from the pullet houses. The rest of the farms will be positioned at a distance of 1.5 kilometers from each other. This setup allows an optimal balance between biosecurity and operating costs. The relatively short distances between the farms keeps the cost of logistics at a minimum, while still enough to contain potential biohazards to a single site. The sites with the most workers are the meat processing site and the feed mill. We will locate them on opposite sides of the town. The feed mill will be located near a train track that can be used to ship material in and out. The grain fields will be located nearby, close to the separate compost site. In reality, due to the regulatory safety or other constraints, the optimal vertical integration solution cannot always be implemented. In the case of the Churina project in Georgia, the integration sites were not optimally spread out and instead were concentrated in several locations. As a result, the farms were located as close as 300 meters from each other. To compensate for the potential biosecurity hazard, Agrotop cleverly positioned the farms and inner roads to achieve maximum separation. In addition, modern disinfection facilities for workers and vehicles were placed between the different sites. Today, Tarina is operating at the highest biosecurity standards and is achieving world-class results.